Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Joelle and I resell on several platforms, but primarily Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today I have a Thread Up Men's Rescue Box to show you all. If you've been watching my channel the past couple months, you know I've been a huge fan of selling men's clothes and I have gotten great Thread Up Men's Rescue Boxes in the past. The one I have today is the third one that I have ordered. So far I have made my money back and some profit on my first two boxes. So I'm really excited to see what is in this box. This box came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, which typically does not disappoint for me. And because I am so excited to open up this box, we're just going to get right into this video. All right, looking in here, I see a pair of denim. So first up, we have a pair of denizen from Levi's jeans. These appear to be in really great condition. They're a nice medium wash. The style is the 232 Slim Straight Fit. Denizen is a sub brand of Levi's, so retail value is not as high. I know I see these a lot at Walmart, but just a ballpark, I anticipate after fees and cost of goods that I could make anywhere between $10 and $15 for these. And if they don't have the best resale value, I will take these straight to Plato's Closet. All right, I see a Nike logo in here. Looks like we have a Nike dry fit red polo. This polo appears to be just in gently used condition. Um, I don't see any flaws, just general signs of wear and maybe a couple of small snags in the fabric. Nike is definitely one of those brands that tends to be oversaturated on online platforms. It is one of my better selling brands, but I've sold a lot of items from my personal closet for super cheap. So for this polo, depending on how the rest of the box goes, if I have some really great items in here, I'll probably take this to Plato's closet. If not, I'll probably list it for $20 to $25 and like those jeans, make anywhere between $10 and $15 for it. All right, next up, looks like we have a flannel and it is from Redhead. Redhead I see kind of frequently at the thrift stores. Um, I think it's a good bread and butter kind of outdoorsy brand to sell. I don't have any experience, but based off of comps, I think I could sell this for around $20 to $25. It is a really, really soft polo with a great neutral color scheme. And this is a size small. It's definitely a men's shirt because it looks a little bigger. My favorite thing about selling flannels and oversized shirts is that you can sell it as unisex. I know that online platforms don't have a unisex category, but I will always put it in my description because I tend to sell a lot of shirts like these to both men and women. So even though this is just a simple bread and butter brand, I am definitely excited to list this. All right, I see more flannel and this looks like a shacket. The brand is Backpacker, and yeah, it is just this thick flannel shacket. All right, this is really cool. Um, shackets, I feel like, will never go out of style. They definitely came in trend the past couple years. And it is just this kind of red and ivory color scheme. It's in excellent condition. I also do not know this brand. I feel like I've seen it at the thrift stores, and it's probably a simple bread and butter brand. But because of the style, I will definitely be listing this. I actually recently sold an L.L. Bean jacket for $32. So I anticipate if this is just a bread and butter brand, I'll probably list this for around $30 to $35 and take offers for as low as $20 to $25. All right, I see one more plaid item and then we'll get into more pieces. But this is just a J. Crew Buffalo plaid button down. This, like all of the other pieces, is in excellent condition. I don't think I see any flaws on it. This type of plaid is something that never goes out of style. And J. Crew is a great bread and butter brand to sell. The size is a large slim. But overall, I love selling J. Crew on Poshmark. It is one of my best selling brands. It's a great bread and butter brand to sell. I think I typically get around $20 to $25 per item, so I anticipate I'll get that for this shirt. All right, next up, looks like we have a pretty thick winter coat. The brand is Classic Sports Techwear. This is a size medium. I don't know if it's men's or women's. Looks like it might be a women's medium, but this coat is in great condition. It is definitely a ski or a winter coat. There are some marks on this inner white coloring, but that's really not a huge deal. I'll obviously disclose them, but if you're using this for skiing, it is bound to get stains on it. Here is the tag for it. I've never heard of this brand, but I feel like I've seen it before at retail stores like JCPenney or Kohl's. So the resale value is Probably not super high, but it is a winter coat, and I think people are definitely willing to pay up for items like this. So I anticipate I'll probably list this for around $40 to $50, but I will definitely check sold comps and let you all know below. All right, next up, it looks like we have a pair of suede pants. This is interesting. Let's see, the brand is Trust. Here is the tag on the item. I've never heard of this brand and it definitely doesn't look like anything special, but I will definitely let you all know what comps are. But they are just a classic pair of navy pants, dress pants, but they are a really soft suede. 
probably faux suede based on how they feel and they are pleated so this is definitely an interesting pair of pants i don't know anything about this brand or when they were made but hopefully i found at least a good bread and butter brand to sell all right i see more flannel in here this seems to be a pattern but this is just an orange button down and oh it's Patagonia. All right, this is just a Patagonia organic cotton button down. I've actually never sold Patagonia. I never see it at the thrift store and I've never received it in a thread of box. So this is really exciting. It definitely has some general wear to it. It's a little wrinkled, but I don't see any flaws or holes or stains. Overall, this shirt's in really good condition. Um, I don't know much about men's Patagonia wear, especially a basic shirt like this one, but hopefully I could profit at least 25 to 30 bucks for this. I will definitely share comps with you below though. All right, hopefully I will find some stuff in here that tops that Patagonia. I see a t-shirt in here though, and it is just a Melbourne, Australia shirt. This is actually pretty cute. It's a size extra small. I don't know if it's a men's extra small because it's definitely bigger than what a women's one would be, but it might be an oversized fit. This is a very cute shirt though. I love the flag detailing on the Melbourne. And here's the tag. The brand is Melbourne, Australia. So pretty basic, but this doesn't appear to have any stains or rips or holes in it. And this is definitely a shirt that I would maybe model and put on Depop. I feel like it would have good success on there. I love selling unique t-shirts and this is definitely one of those. So I anticipate I'll probably list it for around 20 to 25 dollars and sell it for as low as 15. all right next up i see another nike logo it is just this basic long sleeve dry fit tee this is in excellent condition the logo doesn't have any cracking on it and it is a size small so i might be tempted to keep this but it's a really really soft athletic feel it doesn't appear to have any flaws on it like I said, Nike is a little oversaturated, but I do enjoy selling it. And actually, as I'm looking at it, it says Nike Swim at the top. So I do like selling kind of sports specific items like golf wear or swimwear. So I might end up listing this. I think it could do well on Poshmark or Mercari, and I could probably sell it for around 15 to 20 bucks. All right, I see a new with tags item and it is just this Morona long sleeve tee. If you don't know, Morona is sold at Target. It is one of their basic house brands. They do have the clearance tag on it and it was marked down to 448, so I'll definitely make sure to take that off. I do have a positive experience selling new with tags Target items. I could typically sell them for around the retail value. I would assume this retails for around 15 to 20 dollars and this is probably something that i would list on mercari and ebay because their fees are a lot smaller or if i don't want to take the time to list it i will probably just end up taking this to plato's closet it is a men's size extra extra large and they are always desperate for men's clothes so i could get a quick flip there if i want to all right i see some more dress pants and they are from brooks brothers i'm definitely not a huge fan of selling career wear online seems to sit for a while, but if I were to sell it, I would definitely pick up Brooks Brothers. The waist size is a size 33, which was also the suede pants size. So it's probably came from the same person, but this is just a basic pair of black pleated dress pants. I don't have any experience selling men's career wear, but just a ballpark. I think I could probably sell these for around 20 to $25 and profit around that $15 range. So this would definitely be a great bread and butter sale. All right, I am seeing another Nike logo. So like I said, even though it's oversaturated, I'm definitely happy to sell it, but it is just a size small pair of basketball shorts. This is a really cool pair of shorts. It has that marble detailing at the hem and on the waist. I actually got a pair of older Nike basketball shorts in my first thread up box and suggested comps had me list them at around $25. So I anticipate I'll list these for around that 25 to maybe $30 range if this is a newer style. But these appear to be in like new condition. I don't see any snags on them, which is really common for these types of shorts. So hopefully I could profit around 15 to $20 for these. All right. Now Next up, it looks like we have a jacket and it is from Under Armour. This is a size small. I think this is a women's small just based off of the size. There's just some general pilling on this, but if I don't end up keeping it, I think I could probably list it for around that 20 to $25 range. Under Armour tends to sit for a while in my closet, but it always seems to sell. So I think it would be worth it to list it rather than just taking it to Plato's closet. All right, next up looks like we have a button down shirt and it is from Peter Millar. I see this brand a lot at the thrift stores and I think some of their stuff has a decent resale value. 
I would anticipate that this shirt wouldn't have the best, but it is a size large. It's 100% cotton and it definitely has a really nice feel to it. Even though I said I don't sell a lot of men's career wear, I have sold a few button down shirts and it's been pretty successful for me. I usually tend to sell it for that $25 to $30 range. And if you don't know the brand, here is this tag. I've actually never seen this one before, so I don't know if this is an older or newer style, but hopefully I can list this for around $30. I'll definitely put comps below because I'm not quite sure what I would list this at. But overall, this seems like a good bread and butter item. All right, next up, looks like we have a vest and another bread and butter brand. Seems like we have a lot of these in this box. The brand is 32 degrees heat. So this is just a gray puffer vest. I see this brand a lot at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So I'm sure the resale value isn't that high. And here's the tag if you do not know the brand. I definitely pass on this brand when I see it at the thrift stores because I see it at places like TJ Maxx. I think it could do well on Mercari if I sold it for that $15 to $20 range. I could maybe get a quick full price sale. So I will definitely try that out. All right, I see a t-shirt in here and I definitely see the Vineyard Vines logo on the front pocket. So here is the t-shirt. Like I said, it is from Vineyard Vines and here's the back of it. I have sold Vineyard Vines before way back when, when I would sell Poshmark just for personal closet reasons. I wanna say I sold a t-shirt for like 25 or 30 bucks, which is a great sale, but this is a size small and it is honestly in like new condition. I always look for pit stains when I get t-shirts in these boxes and I don't seem to see any of those or any other stains. And one thing that I love about Vineyard Vines and brands like Lily Pulitzer is that they have very specific patterns. So this t-shirt should be super easy to find online. I'll be able to find the MSRP and all of the details of the shirt. So that will definitely make listing this easier. Just off the top of my head, I'm thinking I'll list this for around 30 bucks, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, and I'll probably profit around 20 bucks for it. All right, here we go again with the plaid, but this is another J. Crew flannel. It is a size large in 100% cotton. This is a really pretty kind of pink salmon color with gray. Like I said earlier, J. Crew is a great bread and butter brand for me to sell. This doesn't have any stains on it, just some general wear and wrinkling. I'll probably list this for around the $30 range and I'm thinking I'll profit around $15 to $20 for it, depending on what type of offers I can get for it. All right, we're just getting a lot of bread and butter items and here comes another one. This is just a basic Under Armour hoodie. I remember when I was a kid, I used to always want these hoodies. I thought they were so cool. They came out with so many different color schemes, but this is a size medium. It appears to be in really good condition and I'm thinking that this is a men's medium. I talked earlier about how women's Under Armour sits in my closet a lot, but I do know that Under Armour men's is one of the best selling brands on Poshmark. I don't know why it's different for the men and women's categories, but hopefully I could list this for around 25 to $30 and maybe profit around 15 to 20 bucks for it. All right, we have another button down shirt. This is definitely a common trend of this box and it is Peter Millar. This is just a white, green and blue plaid shirt. Just a very basic button down. It is a size large, just like the other ones. So definitely came from the same person. And like a lot of these shirts just has that general wear of wrinkling around it. I don't see any stains or holes. Even though this is a very basic bread and butter brand, I'm definitely happy to have two button down shirts of the same brand and in the same size because that does increase my chances of bundling. So even though I might not get a lot of profit for this, there's definitely a blessing in disguise of getting a lot of the same sizes. All right, I see more plaid. It is that Buffalo plaid and it is from Peter Millar. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right because I don't know much about this brand. I just see it all the time at thrift stores, but this is just a navy and gray Buffalo plaid shirt. Definitely a good basic to have in your wardrobe. And this is probably one that I would advertise as unisex. It's kind of a thin flannel material, but definitely still soft. But like these other button down shirts, I'll probably list this for around 20 to $30 and hoping to profit at least 15 bucks for it. Okay, I am seeing a jersey in here. It looks like it is just one of those t-shirt jerseys but it is a Carmelo Anthony Knicks jersey. This is new with tags and it is from Adidas. And there's no MSRP, but I'm guessing I'll list this around $25 to $30, maybe a little higher if there's a Knicks fan who is really nostalgic about having Carmelo Anthony on their team. It would definitely be more valuable if it was an actual jersey rather than a t-shirt, but I'm definitely excited about this. If you have watched my channel in the past, you know that I love selling fan apparel, especially sports teams. I actually recently sold two jerseys from Carson Wentz that were from my previous photo box. So those were really quick sales and I ended up profiting around $20 for each of them. So I'm hoping for the same outcome for this one. All right, I see another new with tags item. 
and the brand is Banana Republic. All right, this is just a basic red jacket. Looks like it is a size extra large tall. Usually Banana Republic has the MSRP on the tag, but it does not. One thing I do like about Banana Republic in brands like J. Crew though, is that they have their style numbers on the tag and on the care tag. So it just makes it a lot easier to find stock photos and product details online. But this is a great bread and butter piece. I definitely look at Banana Republic like I look at J. Crew. It's a great bread and butter brand for me. Even though pieces sit sometimes, they always seem to sell. And because this is new with tags, hopefully I can get around $25 to $30 for it. Maybe a little more if I'm lucky. All right, looks like we have about eight to 10 more items in here. Next up, we have a Michael Kors polo. All right, I actually don't have experience selling Michael Kors clothes before. I've heard that their women's clothes don't do very good, but hopefully with men's clothes, it is a different outcome. This is just a basic black polo. It appears to be in like new condition. And Michael Kors has a lot of different tags. Here is just a plain brown tag. I don't really know what that means, but I will definitely make sure to let you all know below. But this polo feels really great. And like I said, it is in like new condition. So hopefully I can get a good profit for it. All right, next up we have a Perry Ellis T. The material is luxury Pima cotton. This is definitely a pretty soft shirt. It's just a great basic T. Perry Ellis does not have the best resale value. You definitely see it at a lot of department stores like Dillard's, but like I said, it is a great basic tee, so maybe I could get around 10 to $15 for it. All right, looks like we have a pretty soft t-shirt and it is from PacSun. This is a size large. It looks like it has a longer fit and it's really soft, almost like a sweater material. This is also a size large, so I'll probably get this listed just like that Perry Ellis tee and hope for a bundle deal. I've definitely noticed that the more listings I have, the more bundles I sell. So it's good to have a good variety of sizes and categories in your closet. But this appears to be in like new condition. I don't see any pulls or snags, so hopefully I could get a around $10 profit for this t-shirt. All right, we are on the final four items and I see a couple pairs of dress pants. As I am looking around, I do not see a brand on these and I also don't see a size. Looks like they were dry clean though. They have the sticker on it, but this is just a pair of pinstripes navy dress pants. I will probably end up donating these because there's absolutely no information on them and I don't think it would be worth taking measurements because there's no brand. So in terms of resale value, these pants really don't hold any value. So hopefully somebody will find them at a thrift store and give them a good home. All right, looks like we have one more pair of pants and then two pairs of shoes. So for the final pair of pants, we have all in motion khaki pants. So these definitely have an athletic feel to them and they are a golf pants. If you don't know, all in motion is another one of those target house brands. They have a lot of good activewear pieces and the MSRP is $40. I didn't realize that their pieces were that expensive. So I'll probably list these for around 30 to $35. Again, they're in like new condition. I don't see any flaws and with the tags attached, they're definitely more valuable. So hopefully I could profit around 15 to $20 for these minimum. All right, both of these shoes are dress shoes, but first up we have a pair of Kenneth Cole New York loafers. These are definitely misshapen, but they appear to be never worn. The soles are in excellent condition. I also don't see any scratches on the leather, so that is a good sign. I think I will just have to put something in the shoes to get the shape back. And Kenneth Cole does not have the best resale value, but if you do not know, there is Kenneth Cole New York, and then there's Kenneth Cole Reaction. Kenneth Cole New York is the higher end brand out of the two. So hopefully I could list these for around $40 maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But for me, shoes tend to have a higher resale value. So I anticipate I could profit around 20, maybe $25 for these shoes. All right, final pair of shoes. And these look slightly beat up, but they are from Timberland. These are definitely misshapen. I don't know if you could see all of the creases on this shoe, but like those Kenneth Cole shoes, the soles appear to be in like new condition with no signs of wear. So hopefully I can just reshape these and get a good shape back. I don't really know what the resale value for Timberlands are. I know that they have the classic Tim lace up boots. So I don't know how dress shoes would do, but hopefully like those Kenneth Cole shoes, I could get around 25, maybe 30 bucks for these. All right, that was definitely the box of bread and butter items. But now that we are done unboxing, I am going to count all of the items and then I will calculate the cost of goods. For my first startup box, I think my cost of goods per item was around 393. 
and for my second box it was a little bit lower around 358 so i anticipate it'll be anywhere between 350 and four dollars but i will count and then i will let you all know all right so i forgot to tell you all this box cost 110 dollars total and i got 30 items in this box so i'll put my cost of goods below for you all to see but I'm definitely pleased with this box. It's not my best one out of three. But as I was looking through these items again, I determined that there's only one item in here that is not sellable. And it was that pair of pleated pinstripe pants that don't have any tags on them. So it's definitely a good feeling knowing that I could sell almost all of these items and not have to worry about getting rid of these other clothes. And like I said, even though this was not my best box, I'm very happy with all the bread and butter brands. I also got a good amount of slightly higher end brands like Vineyard Vines in Patagonia. So there are definitely a lot of items that I might only get 15 to $20 for, but there are a good handful of items that I could get around maybe 30 to $40 for instead. But now that we are at the end of this video, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.